Hello, welcome to everyone in this video. This is our lecture number 46. We already covered 45 lectures and this is the part 27 of the solution for this book that is Electricity Magnetism by Vasudev Ghosh. So actually we covered the solution of this book and parallelly we also covered the solution for the DJ Griffith book that is Electrodynamics by DJ Griffith, right? So this is 27th part of this book and in this video I want to discuss question number 41 to 50 of chapter 8 that is consist magnetostatics. If you wants to go uh, wants to watch the previous lecture you can go through this description box link given uh, there right. So let's start today's topics uh, of this question 41 to 50 uh, that is first question 41 says so that magnetic flux through the surface bounded by counter C is given by uh, cyclic integration it or dl where a is the magnetic vector potential at the element dl of the counter c you know magnetic flux is b dot ds and then we can put that b equals to curl of a we know b equals to curl of a where a is the magnetic vector potential and from stokes theorem we can rewrite this as a, a uh, cycling integration a dot ds so finally we got this total magnetic flux like that Clear. Next question. Write down an expression for the magnetic vector potential A due to small infinite current element I delta L of a state wire carrying current I. This is a state wire. This is small portion delta L. So for this you can see here the magnetic vector potential at point D will be mu 0 I by 4 R I delta L by R. So if you wants to find out curl of delta R so just call of this vector and this can be write in terms of z and r in the cylindrical coordinate system to write in cylindrical coordinate system we can put this as and then we can just put the call in cylindrical coordinate system so if you wants to find out this value you will be get this value and finally we can see this is nothing but the uh, r dz uh, by r square plus z square plus r square to the well theta cap because you can see here only theta cap will be present and others who are zero so finally we got this expression and in this uh, sine theta can be written in the cross product term so which is nothing but the bias over law right so this can be written as a bias over law this angle is theta so this will be terms into sine theta right next question write down an expression for the axial magnetic field bx of circular current loop you know for circular current loop magnetic field will be at a distance x will be like that so if you wants to find out this integration just put this value and then integrate you will be get this substitution x equal to a tan theta uh, i think you can do this integration after getting you will be get this mu 0 i and so we can see this is nothing but like a, a, a ampere circuital law which says this total cycling integration that means if this uh, loop is that is the state wire is connected at the infinity then this like a loop so for total magnetic field uh, within a loop um, will be mu i which is ampere's law next question suppose a square loop of site a this is square loop of site a lying a one yz plane this is yz plane and its center at the origin a current i flow through the loop at appears counterclockwise look down the x-axis okay there exists a magnetic field along this i cap so get constant find the force on the loop you know the law of force is i l cross b so for a b side i dl is nothing but y z cap this is y z cap along the y direction and b is k z i cap so j cross i is minus k cap and uh, here the value of z is minus a by 2 put the value z is minus a by 2 so integration will be minus a by 2 plus a by 2 dy right i written here k written here value of z is minus a by 2 and j cross i is k cap then integration of dy from minus a to plus a to you will be get the a so finally you get i k square by 2 k cap force on a b similarly for force on c d is i uh, dl is the z k cap and this is b vector so k cross i is j cap i k and z dz so this will be odd function and minus a to plus uh, minus a by 2 to plus a by 2 so this gives you 0 similarly for this side also 0 and for cd you can see here that i and this dl is nothing but minus dy j cap and this uh, will be i cap 
this will be j cap and uh, the vector magnetic field will be i cap along so i k and this z is a by 2 here and j cross i gives you k cap j cross i will give you minus k cap and this minus gives you positive and dy integration gives you a so finally you get this thing so total force will be along this k cap and this also k cap so this will be added sorry this will be k cap so this will be added and finally you get this answer i think clear next question so that the interaction energy of two di magnetic dipoles m1 and m2 are given by this where r equals to this so magnetic field on dipole m2 uh, magnetic field on dipole m2 due to m1 you know this relation just like in case of the electrostatic field is the similar um, um, formula like so similar like formula you can see in the electrostatic this was 1 by 4 pi epsilon and this was written in p so the interaction energy will be uh, uh, m2 dot b21 so putting this value will be get this answer this is also similar like to the electrostatic field next question a pure point dipole uh, of dipole moment m is placed at the origin pointing along z direction so m1 along m that is along z direction write down the magnetic vector potential to this spherical polar coordinate system magnetic vector potential is nothing but mu 0 by 4 pi m cross r dr so this m is along z direction so z cross r and z cross r means gives you the m sin theta and the direction will be phi cap along the phi cap just uh, think about the three dimension that is uh, m and this is r uh, that m cross r gives you the phi cap direction so we will get the vector potential after that you need to find out the magnetic field so magnetic field is nothing but curl of a we find already a vector along the phi direction so put this value along the phi direction you can see here that is mu 0 m 4 pi r constant only sin theta by r square is variable so sin theta by r square put here and uh, you know for for the expression of this curl in this cylindrical coordinate system this was written in cylindrical coordinate system because this is a cylindrical symmetry so cylindrical coordinate system coordinate cylindrical coordinate system you can write down like that okay so after uh, putting this value and then integrate uh, just uh, curl of this r cap del del theta will gives you 2 sin theta cos theta and this uh, one r is cancel out and for this was 0 similarly for theta this del del r gives you one mi minus of 1 by r square sin theta and this term 0 and for that one this two are 0 so finally you get this thing okay so just check this calculation you can do this calculation i think uh, if there is any problem you must comment in the comment box next question suppose a point magnetic dipole m1 is written as m1 k cap along the k cap at the origin and the another dipole along the j cap at this distance 0 d2 find the torque on m2 due to m1 so on m2 so you need to find out the magnetic field at m2 due to m1 so magnetic field m2 due to m1 we just uh, write down the previous problem this this is the magnetic field expression so write down this expression here this is the magnetic field and you can see here k dot j will be zero so we'll get this is the magnetic field along this along the uh, negative k direction that is the direction negative direction k direction this will be the magnetic field this will be the magnetic field along the negative z direction right so torque on this m2 will be uh, like that torque on to m2 due to m1 is nothing but that is uh, m cross b so m2 will be cross with the b vector b21 vector uh, then this is gives you this expression just cross product with this one you will be get this answer right now the question is if the second dipole is free to rotate then what will be the equilibrium orientation so this dipole is rotated then uh, you know the, uh, the magnetic field at that point along the minus k direction so this will be try to along the magnetic field so this will be uh, equilibrium in the towards the negative z direction simple so m2 is free to rotate then they try to parallel to magnetic field and at that point the magnetic field along the negative z direction so the dipole also rotate towards the negative z direction go to the next question so that the magnetic dipole moment of a planar planar current carrying loop 
is independent on choice of origin so you know the magnetic dipole is nothing but i by 2 r cross dr so r cross dr that's mean uh, r cross dr this is the area so if you take this origin this area will be same for if you take the another origin because uh, if you choose the origin this position vector of o and p will be changed but this uh, aerial vector uh, that is r is does not change uh, does not change but that means this integral value will be the same since the integral integral value is the same then the dipole moment will be will be the same for uh, choosing this different origin right so this is was independent of origin and this is the similar in case of the um, electric dipole moment also go to the next one Using ampere circuital law, calculate the magnetic field at any internal point and external point due to long current wire carrying uh, carrying a current I carrying a current I with the uniform density uniform density J so that your results are consistent with the differential form of ampere's law. Right. So for internal point, you can see. Uh, the by ampere's law you can put that is the b dot dl equal to mu 0 i n close so b into 2 pi r uh, integration of 2 pi r and this is the mu 0 i uh, i n close will be pi r square right so just put this value you will be get the magnetic field within this uh, loop and in case of the outside point the uh, this this i n close will be the total current i so this is the output magnetic field now you want to find out that is the so that the result constitutes the differential form of MPS law. So they just just curl of this magnetic field you obtain in the um, cylindrical coordinate system. You will be get this one mu zero j and for outside this will gives you zero. Just put the, uh, just do this calculation. You can find out this one. So the result consists with the differential form of so the consists to differential form of MPS law. Go to the next one using the magnetic vector this is the magnetic vector potential calculate the magnetic index and you know this uh, b equal to curl of a in the x y z k uh, that is the cartesian coordinate system put this value so i cap del del y or this is zero and this is zero also for j cap this this is zero and this is also zero so finally you will be get uh, this this zero and this is also zero so finally you will be get this uh, k cap uh, will be like that so I think clear about this. If there is any doubt, you must comment in the comment box. This is all about me. This is my contact details and this is my YouTube channel details. Go to this channel. You will be get the different video regarding this and regarding physics. And share this video to your friends. Subscribe this channel if you need this channel and press the bell icon to get the notification of upcoming video. So thank you. Take care. We will meet in the next video as soon as possible. Thank you.